Welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to show you how you can create a UI alert controller and use a UI text field inside of it and actually get the text out of the text field. Cause that's something that tripped me up when I was using it earlier this week, uh, as I was building out the notes app on the iPhone, right? So the iPhone notes app. So I'm just going to show you how you can access that and how you can basically have it recall itself to present. And it's going to be super quick, but I think you'll gain value out of it. So um, this video is mainly going to be for uh, beginners, I guess, because I'm sure a lot of advanced people already know how to do this, but I didn't. So, and now that I brought it up, I'm actually in the process of developing this course. Okay. I just finished the app. This version of it, I don't think has core data in it. Cause I've been going flopping back and forth between code branches, but basically, oh yeah, this is a way old version of it, but basically I've built out the notes app and I show you how to create the notes app with core data. Okay. That's the main focus of what this course is going to be on. And I plan on releasing it in a couple weeks. Okay. So check the description for my courses that's down there. And there will be a coupon code to give you the cheapest possible price that Udemy doesn't offer straight on their site. Um, and they offer coupons all the time, obviously like uh, sales, but I'm, I just want to give you the lowest price just cause one, I want you to buy the course and two, I want to teach you, right? Not in order. Like I want both of those things. I want to teach you and I want you to buy my course so I can keep doing this for you guys. But yeah, let's go ahead and get started with this project here today. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a new Xcode project, single view app, and I'm just going to call this UI alert. And it's a UI alert controller. Feel free to call it what you want. I'm just afraid I probably have a project in there called UI alert controller. So I'm just going to call it UI alert. Okay. So go ahead and put your project on the left there. And I'm going to go into my view controller and get rid of the main comment. <clears throat> Reason I hate storyboards 553. They lag. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to get rid of that comment. I'm going to zoom into my code a bit here so you can see it better. And then I'm going to close this. Okay. All right. So if you skipped to this part, uh, this is where we're going to start coding. Okay. So let's go ahead and let's just create a alert controller. Okay. Let's say file private and I'll just say lazy var alert controller. And I actually won't mark it lazy yet because I'm going to tell you why I'm marking it lazy in a second. Um, and show you, I'll tell you why now, but I'm going to show you why in a second. So the reason we're going to mark it lazy is so that we can access variables outside of the declaration or within the declaration that haven't been declarated yet. Okay. Cause notice we're declaring this outside of our viewed load. So more on that in a second. And simply, this is just going to be equal to a function that returns a UI view controller or a UI alert controller. So let's go ahead and say let AC for alert controller is equal to UI alert controller. And what I want you to do is choose this one right here, this bottom constructor. And I'm just going to say, uh, Pinterest course, not my notes course that I'm building, but the Pinterest course that's already built. Um, and I'm just going to say, learn how to create a Pinterest layout. You can put whatever you want, a Pinterest style layout with collection view, a custom collection view flow layout and uh, the drag and drop is also in that course preferred style. I'm just going to say dot alert or you can say dot action sheet and then you can change it in a second. I'll show you what an action sheet does. And then we just want to return AC. Okay. So I know I plugged my courses there a lot and I'm sure that's annoying to some of you and uh, just ignore it. I'm, I'm trying to provide value outside of the courses. Like there's, you should be able to gain a lot of value from my videos without even taking the courses. The courses will get you where you want to go a lot quicker and uh, give you things that the channel here doesn't all have. But um, these videos, these free videos are definitely going to provide value to those of you who can't get the courses. And if you sign up for the newsletter in the description below at maxcodes.io, that link, um, I'm going to be giving out free coupons very rarely because I don't want everyone just thinking I'm going to give out free coupons. But if I do, it's going to be rarely like maybe two free ones a month, if at all. But just keep that in mind. If you sign up, I might be doing that. Okay. And it's free. Okay. It's just your email. Anyway, let's continue here. All right. So let's go ahead and present it. Let's just say perform 
And the reason I'm doing a perform is to do it after a delay, which I'll make a video on, ton of delays tomorrow, three different types of delays. But uh, what we're gonna do is say selector self dot, and I'm just gonna say delay. And then basically with any, and then after delay, let's just say one second. Okay, the reason I'm doing this is so that we can basically pop it open again after we have dismissed it, okay? So I'm gonna say Objective-C Funk delay, and then I'm just gonna say present, and then let's see, I'm gonna choose this one, present, view controller, I'm gonna say alert controller, animated true and completion, I'll just get rid of the completion. And then let's just recompile the application and it should work. Now, normally I'd mark this file private, I just forgot to. You can name it file private if you want, it's a good practice. It doesn't matter for this project, but you'll see now that it presents like that with the action sheet. And that's how you get those to pop up. Um, I'd bring up an example, but I don't wanna waste your time. So I'm just gonna say preferred style up here. We wanna change it to alert because we clearly want an alert. We don't want an action sheet, okay? So I'm just gonna change it to alert and that will present it as an alert now, but we don't really have any buttons and we don't really have any text fields, okay? So let's just add on a button really quick. And we can do that really easily by just saying ac.add action and then putting in a UI alert action here. So I'm gonna say UI alert action. And then I'm gonna say title is gonna be submit answer and then I'm gonna say style is dot default and then for handler let's just hit return type in action hit tab and then I'm gonna say print and I'll just say submitted answer okay and this is where we're gonna actually present we're actually gonna print the text field text later on after we figure out how we can even do that because it's maybe not that clear at first it's a really simple fix um, a really simple solution, but um, it's something that if I found a video on when I was struggling, I, it would have been super quick for me to just see, okay? So submitted answer, that works, but we don't have a text field, so let's add that. Let's say ac.addAction, and then we're gonna say UI alert action. Okay, well, we wanna add a text field, I remember now. So add text field, and it says adds a text field to an alert, I'll hit return, configuration, and this is where things get extremely confusing. Like when I was looking for the solution here, I actually tried adding a text field. I just typed in add and I'm like, okay, maybe a text field will pop up, right? And it did, and I was like, sweet. And then I got this configuration handle and I'm like, what the freak do I do with this? And then if it's providing us a text field, how do we get the text out of that, right? Like what the heck? And then I realized, oh, okay, we just have to take it out of we have to take the text field and assign it to a different text field, right? That's outside of the scope so we can access it within our project elsewhere, okay? And you can probably do it with text too now that I think about it. We're just gonna just, we're just gonna be doing it with the text field, but uh, maybe that's something someone will figure out and leave a comment down below if they figure it out, if they want. All right, so now what we need to do is compile our application and you're gonna see now that we have a text field, okay? So go ahead and compile it. And blah, 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 blah. Okay, we got a text field. And then we hit submit answer. And okay, but how do we get the text field text, okay? And that's where we can just say something like this. We can go into here and we can say file private var text field. Or let's just say TF for text field. And I'm gonna say this is of type UI text field, okay? But we don't wanna declare it, so let's mark it optional. And then what we can do is go back into our handler here, our configuration handler, as they're calling it, and say guard let tf is equal to self.tf else return. Okay, so we're basically just, well, the reason that won't work is because it, there's nothing worth it, right? So it's going to hit return here. It's not gonna do anything. So what we need to do is we need to just say self.tf is equal to text field, okay? So we're really just taking this text field and assigning it to this, okay? So tf is now the text field that's in our alert controller. And you'll see it doesn't work. And this is why we're going to mark it as file private or as lazy, okay? So we're gonna go up here and say file private lazy var on the alert controller. And what that's gonna do is basically, it's going to declare all these other things. It's gonna run all the other code, so to speak, um, before this one runs, okay? That means we can access other variables in it. So if this is run before this, and it doesn't matter where it's placed, this could be placed below it and you'd still need to mark it lazy. Basically, it's gonna give us access to this because this is gonna run first, okay? So you'll see it compiles. And then now we're basically assigning our text field. Our text field is now worth whatever this text field is, okay? So we have two text fields really, this one, and then 
basically the same one that's not on the screen, okay? Hit submit, nothing happens, okay? So all we need to do now is go in here and I'm gonna put a colon and I'm gonna put a comma here and I'm just gonna say self.tf dot text. Now, it doesn't really know if this has any value, so we just need to put a question mark here, okay? And then it's not gonna know that the text has a value either. So first things first, it doesn't know if the text field exists, so we could guard unwrap that. I'm not gonna do that, just to save you more time. But it still doesn't know if this has a text value. Now, the way text field's set up, you know it's weird. Even like it does have a value by default, but they're saying that it doesn't, okay? So basically if we hit, oops, if we type in here now and hit submit answer, we can see that it says submitted answer, optional ASDF, okay? So all we need to do to get rid of that optional is put two questions mark here and just give it a default value of some sort. So we'll just say by default, it's just default value or by default it's no, or by default it's yeah, I'm gonna buy the course, something like that, right? So I'll just leave it at that just so I, I'm not plugging my course any further in this in this video. But I'm, say, I'm gonna say, yeah, yeah, I'll buy it. And then I'm gonna hit submit, and you'll see at the bottom it says, submit your answer, yeah, I'll buy my course. Yeah, I'll buy your course, okay? So that's how you do that. I hope some of you gained value out of this. I know it was a super simple tutorial, and I probably made it extremely long and unnecessary long, but I hope that kind of established more of a relationship between me and my viewers. So if you watched this video and you got to this point, leave a tweet, leave a comment. Like I obviously want the engagement, but I genuinely do want to like meet you guys and connect with you guys. Just let me know if you, if you actually watched all this video. Okay. I'll see you in the next video.